Oh, what do we have today? We are off to Japan, thanks to Martin Linder. Great stuff. I was in Japan a very long time ago after college, um, but I have not been to this part. Okiyama? I was in Kyoto mostly. But apparently, down here on the corner, there is a whiskey shop called Whiskey Lovers. <laughs> Perfect for us. Let's go and have a look. Oh, that does look quite Japanese, doesn't it? <laughs> so organised. Right, well, if anyone is in the area and don't know about it, now's your chance. Now, we're going to um, take a look inside. And this is the first time I'm seeing it as well, so I'm going to just hit pause when we see something interesting. Now, for a start, prices... Oh, look, there's Booker's. <laughs> What a great shop. Wow, that is absolutely packed. Now, Japanese yen is roughly uh, 110 yen to the dollar. So if you see a price, just knock off the last two digits. And we'll be roughly like, like there's one, 8,800 yen. If you knock off uh, two zeros, so you're talking about $88, roughly $90 for um, 80... AD Rattray, maybe that's a Craig Elliki. I wasn't quite sure. Oh, what have we got? Let's run through a couple. Strathmill, Stoysha, Bunnahaven, 16, Blair Athol, 21. Oh, there's a Craig Elliki, 11. Spayburn. Macduff. Inchfad, Glen Spay, Spayburn. Croftonaga. I wonder how much they are. Can't quite see the prices. A lot of old ones, though. Mmm. Lovely independent bottles, I'm sure. Oh, who's this? First editions. Let's see. Ireland, Orkney. So presumably that would be a Highland Park coming in at about 140 No? Yeah. $140. Let's see. Isla region. Oh, these are just regions, right? No. No, they're not. Craig Ellicke, Laphroaig, Talisker. Um... Oh, can't, can't read past there. There's a Beaumore. How much is the Beaumore? 320 or something? Fantastic. Douglas Lang. So $85, $70. These aren't bad prices, are they? I guess these are younger bottles. Some grains. <laughs> Probably Orkney's finest. Okay, 12-year-old Highland Park for about 75 there. Okay, these are sort of the fancy Gordon MacPhail, aren't they? What do we have in there? Colila, Manicmore, there's another Highland Park, a couple of Highland Parks. How old are those? 16 and 17. Oh, okay, getting a little pricey now. Above 200, 250-ish. What's that? The Firkin Whiskey. Oh, I've heard the name, but I don't know much about it. $80 bottles. Fruity Peaty Oaky Malty. Well, there you go. Something a bit more familiar up there. What are they actually charging? Let's see, $65 for the Great King Street, which I would see as about $40 here at Total Wine. Let's see, what are they what are they charging for Flaming Heart? Maybe about 190. So maybe they're about 20% higher than what I'm used to. Wow, I don't recognize those at all. Glen Borrowdale, Adelphi. Ooh, what's that? Founders Reserve, Dalruan. Oh, the Lost Distillery. Okay, that's sort of a, um, that's a blend which is trying to equate what some old distilleries would be. Oh, hang on, Bal Blair. Linkwood 25, about 220. There's a nice Mortlac. All right, so I'm actually pretty surprised just how much they've got in terms of independent bottles. What a great stock. Obviously, the owner of this shop is a fine <laughs> enthusiast for whiskey. Right, what do we have down here? Teeling. Okay, some Irish whiskies. Can we see the prices? Let's stop on something. 
Oh, 530 for that 27 year single cask on the right. Maybe more. A bit pricey. What are they? Okay. Carn Moor. I see them in the UK. I haven't ever seen a Carn Moor in the US, I don't think. Um, I can't actually see Capradonic and Pulteney. Wow. Okay. Capradonic, 370 ish. Cavalin, Octave. Kingsbury. What is Kingsbury? No, I don't know it. Someone will shout out in the comments, I'm sure. Hepburn's Choice. More Gordon MacPhail. I do like that box. But um, Compass Box used that box style, didn't they, for their Rogue's Banquet? No, the Magic Cask, whichever ones it was. Dun Dunvegan, I'm guessing. We've had, actually, we've had a 25-year Colila from Dunvegan that looks like one of those blue boxes. Got it at the auction. Uh, what's that? Oh, Single Malts of Scotland. Just marked as, oh, Altmore, Glen Elgin and Colila. So younger ones coming in at what? About $50, okay. Can't argue with that too much. And what's this brand? Um, wow, I don't recognize that at all. Anyway. The Nectar of the Daily Dram. Another whole range. That's a 22 year Ardmore. Ooh, I'd grab that one. Wow, so many unique independent bottles. The Artist Collective. I do not know anything about these. Sort of in the 120 to 60 range for relatively young whiskies. I can see Colila, Ardmore. Altmore, Benrinis, La Jague. Yeah. Oh yes, look at that. What a run. The 10, who's that? Okay, they look like they're more of a blend type of deal. Secret Space Side. The Jig, to Martin, Tobermory. Oh yeah, we were just over here, weren't we? Okay, Delphi. Almost impossible to read a Delphi labels. <laughs> we might get lucky. From Glenrothes, an old Glenrothes and a Linkwood. What kind of prices are we getting? Uh, Hundred dollars, two fifty. For the Ardmore, 17 year old Ardmore. All right, keep moving, keep moving. No, pause. Oh, a bit blurry. Bunnahaven, Glen Elgin, Teninic, Lafroig, and again, prices seem to be in that same kind of range. Wow, a lot of Carmore. James E.D. Seen that up in uh, Royal Mile whiskies as well. Do those Carnmores can't quite make them out? The Maltman, Colila. I've seen um I've seen a Springbank Maltman in the U.S. Oh, okay, pricey ones. That would be four thousand for the Port Allen, <laughs> roughly, and. Uh, 800 for the Lafroy 28. I actually have one stuck in Scotland. Sorry, the 27 year old. Okay, how much are Octomores? There's the 7.3, that is the expensive one. Don't quite see the price. Oh no, just missed it. Never mind. You can probably take a guess. How much is that Blair Athol? About 420 for the 23 year old. Yeah. Some standards. Ardbeg 10. About $46, not bad at all. Now there is 10% tax on top, I think so, but still. Okay, Bunnahaven 25, <laughs> 330 to 350 ish. Whereas in the US, that's an $800 bottle and I don't know why it's so expensive over here. Oh, Lagavulin 12, 
Hmm. Couple of Lagavulin 12s, actually. Do we get a price? Down a bit, Martin. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> I know what it's like. Hey, old Pulteney 17. 135, approximately. Oh, we're going to get the prices. Well done. No. No, we're not. Okay, Kilhoman. Looks like there's a few single casks and things going on there. 130-ish. That looks like the rum one. Isla Barley. Oh, 2007 CC01. Oh, Bal Blair, lovely. Our old friend, Ardmore Legacy. Hetrodara, what's that? 75 for the the um, Caledonian. That's Oh, that fairy flag is supposed to be good. That was recommended to us. Wolf burns. I've never tried a wolf burn. Amontillado sherry and Caribbean rum for about a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars. Well, there's a pricey one. That's probably a hmm, two thousand and one. Don't know how old that is, but three hundred dollars almost. Oh, a couple of Longmorns. Oh, quite a few Longmorns. I've never seen a Longmorn 25 before. Or an 1823. Hang on, is that an official bottle? Limited release. They look official. Wow. Oh, I saw that Manic Moor in a, in a Costco recently. A Dalyuan 34 just went by. Prices, what have we got? Oh, we're up in the almost, let's see, almost 500 for the Glenfiddich 26. And the Glenlivet, almost 300. All right, let's see, where's your Macallan prices? I wouldn't even know what is a good price for these. Macallan 18, do we see a price? No, not priced. Okay, the 12, double cask, 63, $70. Maybe a little higher than here in the US and California. Glen Farkless, 30 year old for 660 ish. Ooh, some Highland Park, unusual ones. What's their uh, 18 year old for 140? I think that's slightly cheaper than here now. Aaron, 200 for the Broderick Bay. Some of the standard Taliskers. Under $50. What's the 18? 110 for the 18. Very good. Cheaper than the US. These are Weems Malts. Another independent bottler. And um, 140-ish. Now, that's a Linkwood. And it looks like a Glen Keith next to it. Uh, have to work out how old they are. I can't quite see the details. Oh, there you go. So they see the 20, 20 plus year old and good value. I only just noticed they're all 700 mil bottles. What do we have here? Haven Trail. I think that's a, oh yeah, Bunnahaven, Blair Athol and Bladnock maybe, is it? No, it's a space type. Can't quite make it out. Mortlock, probably. Now. Ooh, family casks. Not too old. Looks like 97 and 2000 there. What's that Glen Farkless, that white label? Oh, 10th anniversary in Osaka, really? Product of Scotland. Yamamoto Trading Company. Interesting to have a Japanese Glen Farkless. Cask strength 21 year old. Now that's an unusual looking bottle. These are the standards. Oh, that green. Is that the normal color for the eight? <laughs> okay, what are you paying for Glen Alecky 10 here? Batch, which batch? Three maybe, uh, about 72. 
I'm guessing that was batch three. Oh, we're at the end. Well, hope everyone enjoyed a little look around. Thanks, Martin.